checking in. It's been a busy week. Um, as most of you know, I'm back to work, so it's a change. It's working out pretty well. Um, so this week was also busy because we had a number of things that we tried to get done and we're trying to get ready to have in place for this coming year. Uh, well, my normal, I had two, two of them that had annual checkups this week. It was uh, Diesel and Nala. So I brought them together. Um, that worked out pretty fine. They were good puppies, both healthy, um, both kind of... Uh, they like people, so they're pretty friendly at the vets unless it was time to get on the scale. They don't like the scale. So I didn't get an updated weight of them, but that's about it. But they are pretty healthy and everything checked out well for their annual appointment. So we had that this week. And um, we ha our puppies are now four weeks old. Um, so I just got finally got down and registered them through AKC. So... Um, we are AKC registered, um, all of our puppies are. We've actually had an AKC representative come um, and check out our facility. Um, he was a very nice gentleman and I'm always like welcome to learn something new that I don't know, but um, that's, uh, so we have that. There's only two of them, um, so it was pretty fast. So I try to get that. Um, we do sell most of our puppies on limited registration. We do sell a couple, well, we do sell some at full registration. We've yet to um, give out too many of those, but um, the puppies are registered. So we're waiting for the paperwork to come in um, to be AKC um, registered. It does have uh, their requirements. Like when they come through, they have a whole checklist of criteria that you have to meet. Um, I've getting more subscribers and some of you might not know like the backstory to Devo Devoted Danes. So actually Devoted Danes started quite some time ago <laughs> and um, 2013 actually is when it really, we started and then we didn't um, get um, actual Devoted Danes until probably 2015 I wanna say. So that's, um, we started Devoted Danes. So a little backstory um, is Devoted Danes is actually run by me and my daughter. Um, she did live with me and now she's an adult with her own family, but um, her dogs are part of Devoted Danes. So that's how it started. I mean, there's more people that um, are, you know, behind the scenes that are doing a lot of things with their dogs too. Just our family. We don't hire anybody in to come help. Um, we have each other, so if someone needs, you know, um, to come over and cover or that, we have we just call our family in. So that we're so we need a kiss. We're thankful for that. So that's a little bit about devoted Danes. So that's why if you look at our website, it kind of tells our backstory and why we have two different locations because. Um, I do reside out in Salisbury with most of the dogs and we are licensed out in Salisbury. Um, and my daughter is, um, in a different location and she only has three dogs, so she doesn't really require licensing. Um, but definitely still follows the same guidelines, the same ethics as, as I do for sure. Um, she's younger, but she's quite capable of doing anything that I am capable of, almost anything. So um, that's a little bit about us. I think I have hair in my mouth now from Fiona. Um, so that's a little bit about Devoted Danes. Um, we moved out into the country about two years ago for more space for our Danes. We used to live in a um, smaller little uh, neighborhood and it was just a lot of traffic for our dogs and we wanted to be more space. Um, so we moved out here to Salisbury and we really like it here. Um, we'll probably remain here for quite some time. We're still like, um, updating stuff, always planning different things to um, put back into our breed. So we plan on like doing some expansions. We plan some different litters this year. We're hoping um, for a couple of breedings pretty soon. Just waiting on our girls, but I do think they're coming around. The boys are 
giving me some good signs so we'll we'll wait and see but so that's been our busy week you know and then um because i am back at work i um waited uh, for the weekend to kind of go through um you know their rooms getting clean um i also did a file for a dna on farley this week so how that works is if you have a stud and he studs over x amount of litters in a lifetime or x amount in a short period of time then you have to put their dna on file i do plan on using farley for upcoming breedings especially with magnolia so he's at the point where he has to go on to dna on file for a akc so that's kind of a matter of a dna cheek swab and sending it in hurley is already um on file too um, these are more studs that are used uh, more than just like one or two breeding so then they have akc has different requirements of what they expect so that's another part of like different uh, registrations what they require um stuff like that um so that was the busy week of going to the vets getting some paperwork done for the puppies doing dna for farley um a little backstory about devoted danes for you new subscribers and so i'm just doing a little bit of cleaning so i'm going to be a before shot and after just to show you what these little cahoots do they make a they are messy they do what they want I got Fiona up here helping. This is Magnolia, and she doesn't make too much of a mess, but they did have fun peeling off the linoleum. So today I'm going to kind of cut back the linoleum, and I got some, i um, going to recenter her mat and stuff like that. So this is Magnolia's little area. She's pretty, she keeps her air, food area pretty good because she loves to eat food this is we put diesel in the middle because nala was just messing with magnolia and they would just spark and horse around and um kind of nala was being annoying and this is diesel he obviously didn't like everything he had for breakfast and so um i'm gonna just kind of clean up the floor and i just got him a new thick stall horse mat because he had a good time and he decided to chew up the linoleum, which isn't a big deal. We only put it down just to keep the um, the floor from getting scratched up because we have a, look at this, Fiona's up here helping herself to Nala's water. Really, Fiona? She's, um, does what she wants. So Nala's mat just needs to be readjusted and I have to just kind of go in and clean up hers too, but we did get her Kadundra bed. I must have ordered the wrong size. It's a little bit smaller than the other guys, but she does fit on it. Um, she doesn't seem to mind. So this is Nala. So we put Nala down here. So this is her. And we're just going to come in today with a shop back and clean up like I have to do weekly, sometimes more than weekly, but depending on what kind of a mess. So Nala also has a a little pin on hers because she's smart enough to know that if she lifts this with her nose she can get out so she comes out she sleeps in on her couch which is which is okay you know she's she was a good girl just sleeping on her couch but we like to keep them in here after they eat and stuff just for downtime so it kind of defeats the purpose and that's why we kind of moved over here because we want her to you know when she's in here kind of lounge and be uh, laid back but she was uh busy antagonizing magnolia so let's get to it. So I got the rooms vacuumed and cleaned out, washed her little things, their dishes. Um, just got this big horse mat for Diesel's area and I really like how it fits. It's a four by six and it covers his whole walking area. So I think I will get one for both the girls' sides too because Maggie likes to sleep on the ground and Nala does too sometimes or in her bed, but these are thicker and it's better on the joints um, than the smaller mats. The smaller mats are only half inch. Those are three quarters. But somebody walking by. <laughs> so, I like how it is. It covers a lot. They are very heavy. 
ready to bring in. Uh, it's worth it, I think. So this one is now clean. Move on to the next. Let the little guys in so they can begin making the mess again. So here they are. They're back in from taking their little morning excursion playing. Oh, all sweaty. So they do have three room uh, windows in here. It's nice and sunny. In the summer, they have an AC unit that goes in the window. What do you think about your map? There's so many communication here. I just see somebody in your window. So they're enjoying it. It's clean for now. We'll see how long it stays. Huh, Diesel? Just checking out his girls. Four weeks old tomorrow. He's about 10 pounds. This is George. <laughs> you guys got little dry noses. Is it hot up here? They're doing good. Yes, they are. Little pumpkins. They're going potty in the potty area. And they do go over the little um, edging that I have there just to keep the shavings in one area. Emmett loves to go over there and see what's going on in that area. But... They're both growing nice. They'll be dewormed um, tomorrow. They're four weeks old, so they'll be getting dewormed. Get, be on the precautionary. <laughs> so, sweet babies. Mom is pretty much, um, comes in every once in a while to feed them, but being four weeks old and having all their little, let's see if I can get a picture of his little chompers. And they don't want, she don't want nothing to do with them. She don't want too much to do with them besides checking on them to see if they're okay. Huh. But they are playful. He's doing very good on his walking now. He's not as shaky as he was because his muscles are growing. And George has always been fine. But uh, Emmett's doing better. Um, are you supposed to be peeping on your blanket? Just saying how you've been using your potty area and you proved me wrong. Hmm. Huh. Go to figure. Go to figure, huh? She's peeping on the blankets. Yes, your brother's peeping on the blankets, George. <laughs> yes, you did, George. <laughs> so, George also knows how to get up. And if his mummy's out here, how to whine for his mummy. Uh, Emmett is too chubby to do that. <laughs> but he does give sass when he feels like it. Huh, George? Oh, I mean, Emmett. Hey, baby boy. So they are eating pretty good now on their uh, formula and their kibbles that their mommy eats. They eat the same thing. And they do play. They're getting playful. <laughs> so we're halfway there. They'll go home in about four weeks. And they're flourishing. See, he's up and going. I'm trying to get his brother. Trying to get your brother. Oh, Emmett. What are you doing? Is she looking for your mummy? Is she looking for your mummy? Hmm? I like to see him play. They have to puff a lot. Probably because they're so chubby. Probably because you guys are so chubby. Yo, you're so chubby kids. He's here, Mom. Your mommy's downstairs relaxing. Yeah, she's taking a nap without you, believe it or not. 